Next up for this project is a rear master cylinder rebuild. I think I've only ever done a master cylinder rebuild once, so as with most things in Ken's garage, you're getting the garage hackers beginner tutorial here. I'll do the best I can. That pretty blue corrosion, I don't know if it'll show up on there. Probably should go watch a YouTube video on this before I do it. A little bit of crusty stuff inside there. Get some sort of seal here. Or o-ring. You heard what I said about being a garage hack, right? So there's a warning on these parts. Any equipment or parts supplied by brake crafters are only to be fitted by trained and qualified mechanics with knowledge of modern hydraulic braking systems. Counts me out. There's the assortment of new parts in the master cylinder rebuild kit. And I'm going to have a little problem. My snap ring pliers that I bought just for this job, and I've used once, the little tips broke off that are supposed to grab that inside there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grind tips on this or not. Get that crusty old thing out of the way. There's the snap ring right in here. The little nubs that are left on here just slide right off. Might be able to get it with my regular snap ring pliers. These ones that broke are required for the front master cylinder. You need the depth. Let's see if I can get this out. Got it started. Crappy tool. Crappy tool or a crappy operator. Could be this inexperienced mechanic. I was able to get that snap ring out. I had to uh, get it started and then jam this guy in there and I pried it up. Of course, uh, totally mangles the snap ring, but we have a new one, right? There we go. Wow, it looks pretty simple. It looks fairly clean inside there. Time to reassemble the RZ350 rear master cylinder. I just need to make this thing look like this thing that came out, right? The beveled edges of these seals, the larger side facing in on both of them, this thing came apart with no real pitting or corrosion. It looks quite smooth inside that bore. I had to figure out why I was getting black shit all over the place. They decided to design a shop chair that can't sit out in the shop without this black material just falling apart, getting all over the place. How about using something that can stand up to a shop environment? Thank you. I scraped it all off. So hopefully it won't keep following me around every time I move this chair. I'm going to coat the inside of this with some brake fluid. I need to coat these guys with the brake fluid. This thing's kind of hard to stretch over that lip where it needs to be seated. But there we go. And this one needs to go over this guy. And this did it. Oh! That's a big stretch. A little more brake fluid. Feels like it might work. I just screwed this master cylinder to a piece of wood and clamped a piece of wood to the bench. 
Let's see if this works. My snap ring pliers are not the best. Barely, barely are grabbing this thing. I think it's going to fling across the garage. This will be challenging. Nope. This just came in. It's kind of like this one, doesn't it? Except this one, the tips broke off. Let me see if I can get this thing assembled now. This needs to go in here. Last I remember, this thing came springing out and shot out onto the floor. It's going to try to do it again. I heard a little snap. There we go. Nice. Next, put the little rubber dust boot on here. I'll get a trusty wooden chopstick to push that guy in. This needs to go in that little groove. Clean these parts up as good as I can. I changed the hose clamps out to these non-cutting type. I did not get a new O-ring for this thing, but this one seems fine. I think it'll reuse okay. I should put a little fluid on that. I'd like to figure out a way to bring this thing back to looking new, this cap. I can WD-40 it and it'll look good for a while and it'll turn kind of white again. There we have it. I think I have another finished sub-assembly put away. Whoops, forgot a washer. Nice. Almost finished sub-assembly. Finished sub-assembly.